Under the direction of the Prophet Joseph Smith, early members of the church attempted to establish the center place of Zion in Missouri, but they did not qualify to build the holy city. The Lord explained one of the reasons for their failure. They have not learned to be obedient to the things which I required at their hands, but are full of all manner of evil, and do not impart of their substance, as becometh saints, to the poor and afflicted among them, and are not united according to the union required by the law of the celestial kingdom. There were jarrings and contentions and envyings and strifes and lustful and covetous desires among them. Therefore, by these things they polluted their inheritances. Rather than judge these early saints too harshly, however, we should look to ourselves to see if we are doing any better. Zion is Zion because of the character, attributes, and faithfulness of her citizens. Remember, the Lord called His people Zion because they were of one heart and one mind and dwelt in righteousness, and there was no poor among them. If we would establish Zion in our homes, branches, wards, and stakes, we must rise to this standard. Number one, it will, become, it will be necessary to become unified in one heart and one mind. Two, to become individually and collectively a holy people. And three, to care for the poor and needy with such effectiveness that we eliminate poverty among us. We cannot wait until Zion comes for these things to happen. Zion will come only as they happen.